All right. Hello, everybody. I am somebody nowhere, and it's time to do some Legos. Find the right setup. There we go. All right. So, I was waiting until the Overwatch anniversary to do this, especially since I finally got a webcam. But yeah. A little closer. I picked this up quite a while ago. Awesome. Wait, let's find. I didn't want to. I didn't want to play the Overwatch theme for too long because I think that'll trigger the uh, the DMCA. Whatever. Whatever. It's licensed music. It's copyright. I didn't want to risk it, but. Yeah, we got something else to listen to. It's not too intrusive, hopefully. But at least something in the background. Yeah. This is weird, because I've moved. I usually have my chat monitor. I usually have chat. Here's you can see chat in the window there. And now I've lost it. I clicked some things wrong. You can see chat there. But I've got Discord. And yeah, I moved chat over to here because it's just gonna be easier to watch it while building. And having to, to turn turn my head slightly every so often. But yeah. I don't think I need to keep Streamlabs open. I should be fine with just the preview from the stream manager. But yeah. Let's get to this. <sighs> start oh also this time I've got like a microfiber towel so that as we get a little bit later and it gets a little bit darker it's easier to see the pieces since we had that problem last time but yeah try not to get distracted but yeah, let's go ahead and open this up, see what we can figure out. Let's just minimize that altogether. Did I send a message out? Yes, I did. Okay. So yeah, where should I put my scissors? I didn't need that because this is 227 pieces, which was the roughly the amount of the two the two sets that we did last or the the one set that was two things last time. Okay, we got some instructions and decals. Oh, that's oh great. All right. Which side looks better? This side of the box looks a little better. Let's put it right up there. But yeah. 
And when I bought this, I think from a Walmart quite some while ago, it, uh, yeah, it, the box is a little broken. It is a little messed up, but as long as all the pieces are there, who even cares? Uh, let's see. All right. One, build, and then two. Or the, the instructions. They're like, here, put the bags out, and then only do things relating to the bags. Let's see. Holy crap. Okay, wait. All right, so one is... I. I I don't know what that is so much. There's so much going on in one. And then two, I guess, is the rest of it? Like, I don't know. One has so much going on. Let's uh, see what we can do. Uh, it says to put away two for later, so, uh, here, Overwatch characters, keep track of two. Also, oh no, Reinhardt, hold that. Oh god, there's so many pieces. Alright, where do we start? All right, we're building Hammond and whatever this is. Well, one thing I do see here, well, first we'll pour it out. Oh, and there's another smaller bag inside of this bag. So that's that's wonderful. But the most interesting little bit focus focus oh, not on my fingers. Let's see if I can get center of camera at all. I can't zoom in. Ah whatever. But yeah, this is the this is the piece we need to very much not lose. It's so far away. I want to put it up closer, but we have no good close. Well, it's got like a little backpack and stuff too. But yeah, that's gonna be involved in this. I like I want to put it somewhere where I don't lose it. But I also just want it in my vision. Okay, where to start? Because we're apparently building this... I don't know. Whatever this nonsense is. Oh god, all these smaller pieces. Okay, it's not that. Oh, this one. Start here. Hello, Robert. Uh, I'm all right. This is quite the undertaking. Uh, I'm building this. Oh, thank you for the host, Robert. But yeah. Ah, the, the thing is in the way. I cannot see. But so I'm building this. It's character from uh, Overwatch. And it comes with a very, very small minifig of that character because he's literally a uh, what, gerbil hamster something along those lines but yeah somehow that's going to get incorporated into all of this but how are you doing robert i suppose it, it's it's night but it's not as late a night as it usually is for me but okay we start with gray circle step one Good place to start. Two. Oh god. Uh, black things. Yes. Nope. It says there should be four of those. There. There. 
Yeah, I should be here probably a while. Because uh, there's a lot of pieces here, if you haven't noticed. Oh, and this is only bag one. Bag two is over here, being protected by a quantity of additional Overwatch characters. But we're going to put some of this together. Like, is the, is the camera angle good? Is the sound good? Is it all... Uh, it should take, you know, a few hours or so, but it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it should be, like, maybe a few hours or so, but it shouldn't be too bad. Got that. So then it needs a little, uh, another black piece. Video and audio is good? That's good. Like, I... I worry. Like, I... I sort of threw a lot of this together on the fly for like camera angle and stuff like that. Cause it's a much different, it's just a little bit different of an angle from the last time I did Lego. And last time I did Lego, I didn't have uh, this monitor here. I just got this monitor last week and it's way bigger than my old monitor. So it takes up a lot of real estate on the desk so much so that, uh, you can't see it off screen, but behind me is a dead tower that I had sitting on this desk for the longest time. All right, next, we've got some yellow pieces. Several yellow pieces. And... An orange piece and a gray piece. I can't be. No, that's not the right. Oh, we got to open up the secondary bag, I guess. So, yeah, they put the even smaller pieces. Uh, nope, this one's just a regular one. I can see how it might look that way on the thing. The It's not the best camera, and it's, all, and it's doing its best. But, yeah, it's coming up, coming up across that way a little. So many little pieces. So many pieces I don't want to lose. Okay, yeah, the camera angle does show just how many little pieces there are. So yeah, this is a 227 piece set. Look at all the little pieces! Oh, what is this? I don't know what that... Okay, we'll get there eventually. Okay, so we were building something with some of these yellow pieces. We needed one of this gray... Oh, no, two of that gray kind. And then an orange... Two by one. So we'll put that together. Yeah, there's a lot. This one has so many pieces. It's so involving. The The last stream I did with the uh, the... What, what the hell was it called? Oh, brick heads. I, I know that because I'm using the brick heads box as kind of a tripod. But yeah, it the brick heads thing that I did for uh, May the 4th, that, that took much of the night, but I also was splitting time between playing the game and building. And that was two figures. Let me see. Got them back behind me here. And there goes my chair. Because, yeah, the Brickheads figures were involving, but it was, like, multiple different things to put together. And, yeah. It was multiple to put together. It's like, there's more pieces, but... An easier build, I'd say, probably. So, step five. But what all you been up to? Everything going well for you? Okay, we need long gray piece and several not as long black pieces. <laughs> the Lincoln logs and whatnot. No, that's not right. We need a different piece. 
We need something that we need, like, what am I not seeing? It's not that. Did I miss something? I don't, oh, there it is. They're, they're gray, but they're a lighter gray. Like, look at the picture. When I was looking at the picture, they looked like they were black, but no, they're just a slightly lighter gray. So we need several of that. One more there. Those go on the top. This this way. Yeah, Lincoln Logs, solid, solid building toy. All right, that, keep it on camera there. All right, we need several of the little white pieces. And several more of the little white pieces. And two of the little gray flat pieces. But yeah, like I, I wanted to do this stream at some point during the Overwatch anniversary, and I was, with how badly it felt like uh, Resident Evil Zero was going, I was almost worried that I wasn't going to get the game completed in time. Like, I felt like I was messing up in Resi Zero so badly. Okay, there we go. That's put together. Next. Several more red pieces and orange pieces and let's say we need another gray piece. A couple of these little green guys. A little orange two by one. Oh, two of those. And little weird red with a one little dealy on the top. So that goes here. Like when I was skimming through information, like when I was putting together the uh, promo picture of the, the Hammond minifig uh, holding a sign, apparently the Hammond minifig, because there's a, there is a market for just straight up minifig collecting, the Hammond minifig by itself is worth a not terribly small sum considering like of the pieces that are in this set that piece is worth like a lot of proportional of the set like like i mean like i think this set is like 20 dollars 20 whatever and the hammond piece is close to half of that i think like the j just this little Hammond minifig by itself on like the open market is valued better than basically the bulk of the rest of the pieces if if bought and sold individually. Okay, so we need like I forget the exact amount. I think it was like nine or twelve dollars, something like that, for just that minifig. Because there is a there is a resale market for minifigs. It, it it's just a thing. It's a thing that exists. Okay, we got two things with a weird plus in them. They go on the opposite side of the red ones. There and there. And then the next step, tall black. Thing on either side of those. Oh, it's like I'm trying to be careful because I, uh, I like I don't want to lose any of these pieces. I got lucky when I was doing the the other stream where it's just like I was building everything on this uh, trunk right here, and this is a lot smaller surface than what I've made for myself right here. Like I. I, I am glad that I made I gave myself this much room because oh there's there's like like I said there's so many little pieces 
Okay, now we're now we're getting into something interesting. So we've got. So the chart has all this information. Oh, oh, it's a it's it's a little divergent. It's, we're going off and we're building this other different thing that we're putting with the other thing. So starting with, we're going to gather up all these pieces, which the weird long brown piece have the like stuff with the weird plus thing in it. There's the orange piece that I was wondering about. Here, we'll move this off to the side because we're going to be building this for the next little bit. So a little yellow piece. And two of a little black one with a thing. I think it's these. Yeah. All right. So this goes in here. Or, or it does. It, it does. There. It does. Okay, those go, I think this goes all the way there. One of these goes right there. One of the little, the little yellow piece, like how little that is. Little yellow piece goes, I guess in between in the book, we turn the page. Uh -oh. oh, I did it again. I turned too many pages at once. So yeah, step 10, like step 10 started on the other page and has all these other steps. Like step 10 takes part over multiple pages. Okay, so we put the yellow piece there and then the black piece. Oh, I guess we needed a second uh, yellow. Um, I don't think there's a difference to this on which side, so... We need another one of these little yellow guys. Put that there. And then this on this side. Okay. And now this gets added to this. Apparently here-ish. Oh, look at that. It's like a, a little switch doing things. All right, next. Tall black piece, two of them. Okay, where is it? Oh, there it is. And then gray and additionally different gray. So black piece goes here, another one right behind it, and then these go next to that. I'm wondering what this mechanism is. I think maybe the door? Or maybe not, like, I don't know. I don't know what part of that it is. Because the whole thing, it builds. There's a lot to build in this. No, mercy, mercy, don't fall over. Yeah, I think next. Okay, next, we just need several of these little orange pieces. Looks like they stack on top of each other and then go down here. Okay. Oh, looks like we've got another multi-step section with some disc pieces and some other pieces. So Step 13, 
several pieces all coming together. Well, we'll put that over there for now. We need this thing. Uh, I guess that one. One of that. This yellow guy. And I guess this guy. Oh, put them just a little further away. So, yellow piece. I feel like that's wrong. Nope, yeah, it was wrong. It was this piece that I needed. Okay. There. And then one of this. And then this on the end. Going upright. I have no idea how this incorporates into any of this. Okay. Uh, next. That goes on to this orange side. Oh, no, wait. We need brown, or we need gray piece. Okay, gray pieces with some weird little poke out bits. There they are. And then this, this, so we, this goes onto the, I don't know, back? Like what, I don't know what, I don't know directions on this. I don't know which is the front, which is the back. I think this is the front. Like I think this is supposed to be the front. Probably, yeah, because like this is this. That's my best guess. So we put these on here. Oh. Yeah, on this part right here. And then the gray ones with the stick out sides here. Next step. Oh god. It's another like multiple steps to do one step kind of one. So we need some of these white pieces. This is coming together actually really quickly. Like it feels really quickly. Like there's so many pieces, but each step incorporates so many pieces. Okay, yellow. We have a gray thing and some of this and some of this. Okay, so the two white pieces, they are next to each other and they go underneath the yellow piece. And then this piece goes roughly there with this going on the top and then where does this other stick piece go oh stick piece goes straight down and then this goes think. Okay, the way that the diagram is showing, show. the way the diagram is showing, it goes down into the center. Where is this or is orient? Like, is it there? I think. Not sure though. 
I think like it has to be because that's the only way that this fits here. So then we need a little black L shapey bits. Oh, there's another one back there. So we got two of these guys. This one, and we need one more. Where is it? There it is. And then go here. I'm probably just going to put it on the shelf. That's that's where I've got a lot of the other stuff that I've put together over time. Like the old stuff that I haven't messed with in ages just, you know, sits far away, put, you know, in boxes. But if this is already assembled, I, I'll just probably leave it and leave it assembled. This is nice to look at, at the very least. Okay, so the top. We need two of these and two of this. We need another one. Where is it? 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 It's got to be here. Why don't I see it? It's too early for me to not be able to see where things are. Oh no, I only need one. I'm I'm it's I'm having difficulty reading clearly. Okay, so that goes there. That goes there. And this one goes in here. I don't understand why this is like this. I don't know why this has a little thing going on there. All right, so all the way through step 17, we're just we're just booking through this. All right, next we need a little black upright piece, two of that. So we got another one here. And then a couple of these guys and this gray guy. They go, they keep building up onto the top. So, go here. Yeah. Right there on the top. And then, gray across this side. And then the green on either side on the up top. Oops. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. 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 I flipped the little switch and I am having trouble undoing it. Oh, it, there we go. Got it. Got it. We're back. I don't know what that switch is about. It's really weird. And now it's just, yeah, knocking itself off kilter. Like, it only barely sits in there. Unless that's like an ejector seat. Oh, all right. Thank you. Oh, I, I think it might be an ejector seat. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, now I can tell. It's... It looks like it's just how you can make... A, like, we'll get there eventually, but it looks like the Hammond minifig is probably going to be right there. And then you flip the little switch thingy here. And he'll, like, boost himself up. And then I've got to fix it again, because it's not got all of the support pieces in place. That's what's happening there. I was not sure. Yeah, that's that's pretty neat. Okay, next. We need... Okay, gray piece. A couple of those. There's another... So there's a white piece, two long black. So they go here. But yeah, so I was like, I'm kind of worried that I 
I kind of sprung this on on folks at the last moment because I was like, I wanted to do this during the Overwatch anniversary, and I just didn't know exactly when would be the best time, and it just turned out, you know, because I finished uh, because I finished Resident Evil Zero this you know this Tuesday today turned out to be pretty much as good a time as any. All right, get I have a little something to drink. Because lots of talking is, yeah. All right, next piece, or next part. So we're just putting some, uh, probably not, like, uh, lately these days I'm not even sure what I want to play. Like, Far Cry, like, Far Cry is alright, but I've, I've never been super into it. Like, I could totally see uh, someone like Allura playing that, because she's, she's had a good bunch of fun in the Far Cries. That one there, this across there. And something goes on the top. Oh, no, wait. There's the little angly ones here. Oh, that should be fun. There's a, there's a... Oh, God, these pieces are so small. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of neat games that are coming out. Did I just drop that? Yeah, I did. Like, there's a lot of neat games to look out for. And this, whatever this ejector thing is, just keeps falling out of here. I really hope something else gets put right here to brace it down. I'm gonna, I'm figuring that's probably gonna happen at some point, but yeah, right now that is not the case. It just keeps messing up. Well, it's got a, it's got that one actor who's always like, who's always really good in stuff. I forget what his name is. Like, I've seen a little bit of stuff on it, but not a lot. But yeah, it's got that one actor. I forget his name. Yeah, he's in Breaking Bad and a bunch of other things. Like, he's he's fairly, you know, he's one of those guys who's just, you know, consistently good. All right, so this goes here. And that should lock that thing in place, hopefully. This goes on the top, apparently. And then these go across the top in the in open spots. Now let's see if this works. Oh, sort of. Like down inside the thing, move my hand, and then it'd be like eject. Let's get him out of there until we until we need him to be in there. All right, next step. So we got more of the orange. And a couple more of these green. Uh, I am in central. Yeah, I am in the central time zone. And this goes on this side. Oh no. Oh no, it's... We've gotten to the point where we've got to put decals on. Only an hour ahead. Like, I know, uh, what, Suzellen is in 
Western and Allura is in like Eastern, I think. Eh, it's it's hard. It's so hard to keep track. All right, we got decals. Oh God, My hands are clean enough, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Couldn't you have just put these on here to begin with? I I do not have very small hands. My hands are quite larger than that. Ah, Eastern. That's on there. Yeah, it's on there pretty go, right? And it wants this one. I'm trying to like tell within relation to the other things, like there's the book. Where it shows where the decals are in relation to everything else. So this decal. goes there all right like there's several decals here and I really like I don't I don't want to put them in the wrong spots or I don't want to poorly stick them or whatever like my hands are just too much larger for this. Come on. Nope, not quite. It's stuck down yet. Like the panic attack of trying to stick down a decal. All right, I think that's on there good. Yeah, I think that's in the right spot. Okay, so, okay, now I get it. These decals are representing uh, Hammond's controls. Yeah, they're representing Hammond's controls for when he's operating the mech. And then the other two of these just go and complete the circle. All right, next weird gray piece. What the heck is this? I don't, I have no idea what, like, this is just like a piece that I don't know. It's not a normal piece. Like, it's just gonna, it's just gonna cover up a spot for no reason other than because like it's going right there but I don't I don't get it yeah it's like a weird looking piece like it's like a piece that's not really used in any other capacity we're looking for oh there we are that's what we wanted so these two green guys go on I'm gonna have to say this is the back side And then on this front side, another one of these slanty guys gets a uh, decal. So decal number six. Oh, got to make sure we put this one on the correct way. This one, it's got an eight with an arrow.
Okay. Put that onto the front. All right, next. Like, how many steps are there? Oh God, there's so, more, so many more steps than I thought. All right, so there's 80 steps. We are 24 in. So that means bag two. Bag two is very involving. Yeah, it looks like bag two must be very involving. All right, so we got several weird green pieces. And a couple more other weird green pieces. Chances are we've got extra pieces here. Because that looks like what's the case. Okay, so... This goes on here. And another one for the other side. And both of these, their counterparts on the opposite side. Wait, why is that not? There we go. I'm getting distracted. And I apologize, but oh, that is so large. Lots of things just blowing up. Get that back out of the way. All right. So, next weird red thing, red piece goes in this back hole, I guess. I don't know how far it's able to go in. Looks like roughly that far. Okay, red piece goes in there. Next, got two of these little green circlish pieces and that one that's already got all of the stuff already on it. How, how nice of them to already put that stuff on there because I know I didn't want to do it. So these go on either side of here, I think. No, actually, it just starts there. Or no, no, both of them go on one side. And then it goes back here. How does this go on this way? Oh, there we go. So there's a little bit still sticking out. And that gets covered by uh, that guy. So what are the pieces we still have left? Oh, I can see what they are now. I, I saw the next page and I'm like, oh, that's what that is. So this goes on here. Just straight up fits on there, doesn't do anything special. So that's fine. Next, what I didn't know what they were for. Looks like they're apparently for the hatch. Yeah, it looks like they're apparently for the hatch. So we need this little ring. Yellow guy. Gray thing. And these two green guys. So this, these go on opposite sides. Oh. 
If I ever end up doing this again, I really need to get a light on this side of the room. Like, why am I doing this badly? Okay, there we go. Okay, we got that, and then these go in here. And following that, there's this piece, and then that piece. So this goes on the top, and this goes on the bottom, I guess. Uh, goes on the bottom, goes on the bottom. probably like this so that it doesn't mess up the minifig if you put it inside. Yeah. Okay, so these all fit together to create kind of like a hatch door thing. And they go on the back. So then this little hatch. All right. Yeah, you got the little hatch there, and then it's telling me that number five, decal number five, goes on the front here, which I would have liked to put there before. I mean, how am I supposed to put that on there without, like, that is not, ugh. And I have put that on there at some point when it would have been easier. Because I think there's an... Yeah, the sticker has... I really feel like I would have rather put this on here earlier in the build. Like before I put this piece on here. I think that's fine. Maybe it could be on there a little more straight, but as a whole, looks good. And then, yeah, it gives me an illustration of how the uh, ejector thing works. Where it just like... You flip the little switch and it activates the ejector. Doesn't show him in there yet, but... Surprise! Basically like that. And because of the the rounded piece on here, you're less likely to mess up the paint and everything on the Hammond minifig. But yeah, we get a little bit closer. Ta-da! All right. I still want to take that out of there because I don't. I don't know yet. Okay. So. Oh, it literally in the next next diagram shows how it all goes together. Yeah, it literally on the next several pages of the diagrams, it's like, yes, this is where you put the Hammond figure. And then you push the Hammond figure. Like, yeah, it just illustrated exactly what I showed you. Yeah, it just illustrated exactly what I showed you for the Hammond figure. Did I? And so, yeah, I guess we ended up with one extra yellow circle-y bit. All right. Do we? I don't think I want to keep Hammond in there, though. Okay, we are on roughly thirty-three. 
about an hour in. Take a, take a quick moment to get up, stretch my legs, have a drink. Here we go. I'll just flip this here, put myself on mute. I could have swore I started music. Oh, it just didn't start, that's all. That's all. It just didn't start, you know, the music that I wanted to play. It's fine. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a short break and stretch my legs because sitting here like this, like my legs are all, yeah, cramped up. But I will be right back. Find the right screens. Screens, where are you? Alright, I will be right back. I can find the big screen. Alright, I'll be right back. Not that one, not that one, not that one. There we go. I don't know how to keep the chat log. Like lose the chat log in between times of this screen being loaded up but let's let's keep going okay so there's still a couple of decals left on here three and four I'm just uh Reinhardt, hold on to those again still. And. Uh, yeah, let's see. 31, 32, 33 are all just illustrating how the eject mechanism works. So, like when you have the Hammond in there, then it ejects it. That's basically all it's showing me. So, bag number two. How many? How many steps did I say? Seventy, eighty. So we're not quite halfway through, but we're within a close amount of halfway. We, uh, it looks like this is probably just building the outside of the ball. Yeah, this is largely building the outside of the ball. scissors I have scissors I'm not gonna try to like rip it open and then just get pieces everywhere like, let's do this practically because I don't need to have just a shower of Lego pieces all over this room that basically would bring a halt to this build immediately so Spread them out a little bit so we can see. There's a lot going on here, but yeah. Whoa. What the heck is that? Oh, they're just two pieces stuck in each other. This on the other hand, yeah, that's a very different particular piece. Like, I can see where some of the pieces go. Some of the pieces are very odd, but I can see where some of them go. It's 
So we're looking for another of those weird gray pieces like we saw. Yeah, another weird gray piece. Here. Yeah. That gray piece like from before. That and one of these and gray four. So this goes on the back. Another one of those weird gray pieces. And a smaller green slanty piece. They go further up. They go here. And Get a better angle here. And then another piece right next to it. So those all go there. Wait, ah, the piece is not in place. All right, next step. Next orange piece, get a little closer here, and then another one of these. So orange piece goes underneath, and then goes right there. I'm like, does it, is it looking like the picture? Are we are we approaching picture status yet? Like I can I can almost sorta, but the thing is most of that picture is the the outside part of the ball. Okay, next blue stick looking piece, sorta. Blue sorta stick looking piece. And a gray weird piece. So this gray piece goes into here after this goes into here. And those go together that way. Looks like we're building the gun. Yeah, I think looks like the next series of steps is building the gun. This gun. So we got gray weird long piece. Okay, and then there was a there's another piece. This one? Yeah. So they go together. And then an orange piece. And um, weird red stick looking piece. And another one of those black pieces.
All right, so those all stick together. Oh, there's still more. God. Okay, another weird little blue piece. And a looks like a black piece with just some oddliness to its shape. Hey, how does this go on there? Oh, now I see. So, the piece hooks onto the other two and sticks up, and then the blue piece goes into it. Roughly. Roughly, that's how it works. So, blue piece there. Guys, go in here. Yeah, it looks like the red should still stick out a little bit. And next, there's a maybe gray piece? The gray or black? Dark gray, I guess. And then a black blinking piece. Yeah. Like, remember when I said this was involving? Jeez. Oh, wait. The plus side, side. And then this goes in here. And then a black piece with multiple openings. Okay, there we are. Goes here. And then we reorient it like it wants, and it looks like this. And it should go. On the side over here with the blue. And it locks into that little area that was there. So now there it is. You can move around a little bit. All right. We're gonna have to do the same thing to the other side, aren't we? I'm, I'm looking at the at the box, and that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to rebuild that same thing just for the other side. Oh no! Wait, first we've got whatever the jet is. Oh, I can see it. This thing, but for the other side. So that we gotta build that. Er, there we go, camera. I have to build that. And so, got that piece. Gray circular piece, and there's another black piece that links into. So this. There, and then on top. Oh no, actually, we're not done. It's yeah, it's let's see this. It's here, goes on the back of here. If we Probably need to pull it away a little bit. Try not to block too much on the camera. And this goes on here like it's the, the hopper or whatever, you know. And now 
That can do that. It can fold in and fold up. Okay, we're still we're still working on this side. It looks like we. Oh God, what are we building? Okay, we need it's like it starts with just one gray piece, but there's an entire like list of other pieces that we need for this step. So we need this thing here, gray piece there. There. there, and again that weird gray piece like we had had. So this upside down, the yellow piece. that way and they go underneath with this going on the top and this piece Side here, I guess. Let's guess this. I don't know. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna have to put another decal on, but it's fine. It's fine. Next part. Yellow thing. Uh, black thing. And a curved section. I don't see the one we're looking for. Oh, there it is. That. With a weird little, like, recess. I'll show. Weird sort of shape to it there. Where we're going to have to put one of the decals. So it says for this side. That goes to there. And this is going to go onto there, but I'm going to put the decal on first because I don't know. I don't want to do it afterwards. onto this little grab bar right here. So we got yeah, that can all bend down I guess. It's for like if you wanted to you know come you know roll them all the way up into a ball. So we're gonna put this back with Reinhardt or not. 
We're going to put this back with Reinhardt. Until we need it later. Alright. Still more. So yeah, I guess it just wants us to work on this side first. So we're using this weird yellow piece and another additionally yellow piece and this gray. So the yellow piece and the gray piece and also this goes. Is that going there? Okay, this, that, and this. Are so small. Set. Okay, I guess they go like that. And they will. I don't see where they go. Did I mess this up somehow? I feel like I've messed this up somehow. Those pieces don't line up like I need them to. What have I done? I think I've messed up. Oh no. Where did I mess up? I think the bottom part is wrong somehow. And somehow I messed up the bottom part. Somewhere along the line, I messed up the bottom part, and it's bad. How did I mess this up? Okay, where did I mess up, and how can I fix it? Oh god, this is bad. This is really bad. I messed up somewhere in here, and I don't know how or what to do. Gonna try to take it apart a little bit just to see what I can do here. Track backwards, to see what the hell I've done. Okay, that was like that. Where did I mess up? I think I ended up... Oh god, this is bad. This is so bad. I ended up putting the front on the back. And now the back's on the front. And it's bad. Oh crap. This is really bad. This is so bad. Somehow I got turned around. And put the wrong piece on the wrong direction. And I don't know if there's an easy fix for this. It looks like the bottom part should be able to just get removed and replaced, but I can't tell. Like, it looks like I should be able to just swap this, swap the bottom around. Yeah, something went wrong, and I guess I got confused, because these yellow, these yellow parts right here should be over here. Or, here, we'll bring it closer. So these yellow parts right here, they're supposed to be over here. I think I should be able to swap it around, but I have no idea where I got messed up. This is gonna be bad. Like, yeah, I don't know where I messed up. Try to like take it apart strategically, because it looks like the bottom, if I just swap it around, it should put everything back in place where it needs to be. Okay, so that's uniform. 
if I take these pieces right here and swap them out for these pieces right here, I think that fixes the problem. I hope. I hope that's the only mistake that I've made. piece. I don't know if I have a piece remover handy. Brick separator. Don't worry. I don't need those fingers. Okay. I'm gonna have to hope that this is the only mistake that I made. Something like that. I don't know. I'm just hoping that's right. If it isn't, I oh, I don't know. We're gonna have to go like all the way back so far. Um this goes on the back. Alright, okay, back on track. That was a super fun detour. Alright, where the hell were we? Before we found out that I've messed up so bad. Um, okay, the weird roll bar looking thing. This... They go one goes on to here. I guess that goes on to there. Yeah, I I have no idea where I messed up, like how I got confused on the bottom part, but luckily it seems like it was an easy fix. Hopefully it's like I'm saying, hopefully it's the only mistake I made. I made the mistake last time when I was making the uh, Captain America, or not Captain America, when I was making the uh, uh, Star Wars thing. I messed up a piece somewhere in there because it was dark by the time I was building. Where I think I used a gray piece instead of a tan piece at some point. All right, next. We need these weird ball socket joint looking things. And a couple of the orange little guy pieces. Whatever this is. Black, whatever. Or, no, wait. I don't think it's that one. It's the other black, whatever. No, maybe it's not. I can't tell. Can't tell for sure. Oh no, it's gray. That's why I can't tell. It's not black, it's gray. And then. One of those. And then it looks like this piece so we go this platform this thing in here two of the orange things This 
goes in here somewhere. And then this part on here. No, 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 no. This part on here. Oh, because it's a articulating piece. The plus wasn't quite uh, lined up. And that goes with that. And then, yeah, the rest of it goes here, and it's going to create uh, one of the little feet. So, presumably, we're going to have to do that several more times. All right. And that goes... Oh, that's what goes in these little... Uh, the black spots, or the black sections down the bottom. And yeah, basically do it again. All right, the back of that piece. Need one of those, two of those. The, the, now that we know that they are gray pieces, one of those and one of those. So. Like I was saying, we're just basically doing it again. It's like lots and lots of pieces, but like lots of uniformity to the design. So it's not terribly difficult to build. at a time. Oh, because you know, the way that it's set up, there's a more articulation with the feet. All right. Those can in the there's even in the diagram it shows that they can fold up. We're finally going to the other side. Looks like we're finally going to the other side. Skip the page again. So, yeah, we need the weird gray piece. Uh, let's see, gray square, gray square. And a green piece. They go on the back. And in the middle is there of those gray pieces. It's like one of the last ones, if, if I can tell. And a little green angle piece. Goes here. My fingers are too big. That's the wrong direction. My fingers 
Fingers are just too big for this little of a set. There. This here, apparently. Oh, I can't see this side just to compare. So yeah, they they compare now. So, this side and that side. Let's put those feet back up. Oh, right now. The part that we already did, which was that, and we keep moving. Okay, we're building. We're building another gun arm. So we got that and that. This, and that, and they both connect to this. Yep, we're building another, we're building another gun. So, got another black piece and the gray piece. Now we need another orange. So like at the rate I'm going, I'm gonna be done with this in like two hours. A little more. Like, I'm gonna be done with this stream in before the amount of time it would take me before I start my normal stream. Like, I honestly thought it was gonna take a lot longer. But then again, when I did my last LEGO stream, I was intermittently spending, you know, 15, 20 or more minutes playing Star Wars. So maybe it's not the best one-to-one uh, -one comparison. And that, and a little red. This goes into there. Yeah, chances are I'm just gonna archive this entire LEGO stream. Maybe I'll edit out the, the break. I don't know. I I would like to edit out that I messed up the the section, or, you know, messed up the bottom somehow. But that's the only point of drama I think we've actually even had. Like, we haven't really had any instance of oh no, we're lo losing pieces, or oh no, something else nonsense. So we got this black piece. And the blue piece. Yeah, it's been largely uneventful. With yeah, you know, with the exception of me apparently screwing up, uh, knowing left from right. Okay, so this, like this, and then this here. That's just how streaming goes for me sometimes. Just, just not too busy. This, okay. Cause yeah, we've only got like 20 steps left. We'll be done with this probably within the hour or more. Yeah, if that ends up being the case, so be it. Like I wanted to do this and this is what, I know, I'm, I'm happy having done this. And then a little black piece like this snaps into here. And then the, where is it, where is it, where is it, it's up there. But yeah, there's more drama in just trying to find the pieces that are clearly, uh, clearly there. There. 
re uh, move it around. It says that it should attach thusly. under there. So yeah, that gun attach under there. We'll put another one of the drum things on the back. small mistake in my assembly but as a whole this has gone pretty smoothly hello Aurelius yeah, it, as a whole it's gone fairly smoothly but the the assembly is not like there's lots of pieces but it's not really that difficult to assemble like, it's actually a really neat assembly okay this should go up here this can all just get folded back there Oh yeah, how are you doing tonight, Aurelius? So, next we build another cover panel. We build this cover panel only on this side. Like, there's a lot of uniformity to this build. Did you hit yourself by law? Um, I am... I have no intention of hitting myself. Like, I, I, I'm playing it safe. I'm doing my best to play it safe. Hell, I went and I opened the second bag with scissors because I didn't want to just shower the entire desk and area with uh, Lego pieces. Like, I'm trying to play it safe. Because I know as it gets darker here in this room, it's going to be harder and harder to see anything. Even though I'm working on a little bit better surface than when I did the uh, the Lego Star Wars thing, because this this black uh, trunk was not very easy to see black pieces on. It's like from this distance, with my contacts being like they are at the moment, this is like I can barely see this black piece right here. Alright, so we got yellow piece, gray piece, and black piece. Oh, also we need... I think it's this. And another one of those weird gray pieces. So, yellow and gray. Go that way, and this plugs in underneath here. Like, at this point, it, it really is just looking like the picture. The only thing missing is just a little bit in the way of legs and stuff. So that goes all on there, and then it snaps in on that side. Keep having to make sure that I didn't flip an extra page because I feel like I've done that multiple times. So we got that piece there. 
another yellow piece and another of the black piece. And then here we've got the last piece that takes a uh, decal. So, Reinhardt, I am taking the decals from you. You don't need the decals anymore. Like, yeah, putting on the decals and stuff was probably like the most tense part of most of the assembly. Mostly because it's just like, I don't want to put it on badly. It's not perfectly straight, but it's good enough. Okay, so this part goes there. And that way. So we're basically doing this part right here on the other side. Except for that I assembled it wrong? Or did I? I can't tell. Look. Yeah. Just broke something and I don't know what it was. No, it only just felt like something broke. Something just something just pressed weird against something else. It's fine. Oh yeah, I think the back the back isn't as fit as affixed as it should be. Mostly because I uh, I messed up earlier and had to backtrack a little bit and try and figure out how to fix a mistake without having to completely undo everything. It, it's fine though. It's uh, mistakes were made, but not irreparable ones. You know what, Reinhardt? You can you can keep the decals. There's there's nothing left there for me. So, all right. So these all just go on the top of there. Now we put. It looks like another one of these little roll cage looking things. That yellow piece and this little gray piece, I think. They assemble just like this, this like that. And then let's see. Like the way that the, the drawing is is just not great for describing it. That like that. And this here. And then it plugs in down here. Yeah. There we go. Plugs in on the bottom. Alright, next we build another foot. So we need another one of that, two of these little 2x1 orange guys, one of the little ball and socket joint looking things, one of that, one of that, and that. So this connects with this. Yeah, at this point we're just coasting. Like at this point, yeah, it's just coasting. We're like we're liable to finish this within the next like 20, 30 minutes. Okay, this here. Like I honestly expected it to take a lot longer, but like I've said a couple of times in the stream, I like the the Star Wars and Lego stream on uh, May the 4th. That one went longer probably because I was playing as much of uh, Battlefront as I was. And this... Come on. Come on. Come on. Right there. 
and then presumably the other part goes on the other part. Yep. And then they snap into the little recess here. And we built the last, the last foot. Got that, and that, these, that, and that. Nope, that's not, that's not the right piece. This one. It's this one that we need. thinking or like a, the articulating part of it all right and then this should just snap in and that all just holds up right up in there okay so the rest of it. Like we're on the we're in the home stretch actually. Like yeah, this is just coming right along. So we've got green piece here. A pointy gray piece and then this other piece. What's this piece? I don't think that's the piece we need, but so this this, I guess, goes on the top? Like, here? Oh, yep, that, that really uh, brings that whole part together. And then it's weird. Why? Why would they have all this decal stuff? Oh, because you can open it up. Oh yeah, because it looks like you can open up the thing. Maybe I don't know. At this point, no shit. Oh, there it is. Okay. No reason to worry. Like, two hours in, and only just now are we dropping a piece. Like, there's so few pieces left, you can see. But, yeah, it's like two hours in, and now we drop a piece. Like, why is this on here? Like, it covers up the, the stuff that we put decals on. Yeah, it's like it covers up the thing that we put decals on. So okay, next, what in the, what are we making? Oh, we're making the, the this thing, whatever this is. I don't know. Why is it like that? Why did we cover it up in our thing? Or was I supposed to put that on the other side? I think we're supposed to put that on the other side, and I don't know what I'm doing. No? Why is this like this? I'm confused why we are covering up something that we had to put decals on. Whatever. Let's keep going. We got this. We got a... Okay. I've seen lots of pieces before. This one is, again, quite unusual. It's 
like it looks like they took two uh, minifig arms and just sort of stuck them together funny. So we got that. Oh wait, let's see. We use one of that. Two of these guys. Uh, this gray thing. These two orange guys. So this snaps onto that. And these guys come onto this, I guess. Like, I really don't know. Like, this is weird. I'm still confused about this. It's still in my head, and I'm like, why did we do that? Why is that a thing? Okay. Looks like that's how that comes together. And then this shows it folding up that way. And it goes here for some reason. Yeah. Just folds up and there it is. Okay, next. It wants me to rotate to the underside. And I guess put got an extra got an extra pointy piece, I guess. Rotate to the underside. And put this weird piece. Again, at some point they gotta stop being weird pieces, right? That there. I do not attach. Okay, there we go. That attaches there. And then 80 is just that piece and this piece on the bottom. shows in the little uh, diagram it shows you know let's give it feet so it can stand because well it's it's neat for it to do what's ball thing while being a ball it's gonna be attacking you know it opens up It opens up, and gets the guns out. Yeah, that's mostly it. Like this, it shows in the decal that, and then let's open up the thing and put our little. Uh, Hammond minifig into the thing. Come on. Like, you're literally built for this. We got that. It rolls up, and then it's like, haha! Yeah, that was a lot easier to build than I thought it would be. But yeah, we got the 
Hammond minifig this game inside. Takes everything you give and gives back even more. Don't this you. is a singular moment becoming a blueprint. So Why are you an ad? Stop being an ad. It's no fun for me. Who wants no ad? But you played for a very long time, and I appreciate that. Commercial free music. All right. Let me see here. But yeah, we've got this thing assembled. That's weird. Why is it okay? Like the the video feed wasn't updating. So yeah, if we're gonna. So what we've got for extra pieces, we've got the weird little. Uh, looks like two arm, uh, two of the uh, arms put together. Couple of the weird little black piece, little pointy gray piece. So it's like a little bit in the way of extra pieces, but honestly, it's better to have extra pieces than, you know, not have all your pieces. And then I broke it. But let's put this back here. Angle upright. And one last time. Hammond pop out. Yeah, there we go. I think that's good. Oh boy. Like I I scheduled this stream for as early as I did because I wasn't sure how long this was gonna take. And while I suppose I could keep going right now, I think this is gonna like this is gonna take a while to clean up, but you know what? Here. We'll uh, show off a little bit of this nonsense while we've while we've got it all down here. Like I don't have a different camera angle or anything, just all this. So let's just show it all off. I have some amount of pop figures. You know what? I'm going to swap it over to just chatting because now we've done all our building. Why, why does it even matter? But for the point of it. Yeah, he's he's got he's got a good home. He's got a good home set up. But, okay, so we got May. I think, I think this, like, several of these little ones are from the, like, cute but deadly line. I forget. Like, it, like, I, I know that's just something that I seem to say a lot, but I, I've had these for some time. One thing that I noticed while I was setting these up back here and pulling them off the shelf, the the Zarius uh, the the Zarya pop that I've got here, and the to a lesser extent the other Zarya, with the amount that they've sat up on the shelf, they've got like gray, you know, they've got dust on them, as as you would expect, and so they've started to look more and more like my favorite Zarya skin, which is uh, Frost. And it's just like, <laughs> I I wouldn't be surprised. Like there, there are pops of literal everything. So I would have to say it would be on Sega if, if for whatever reason there wasn't a Kiryu pop. Chances are there's probably some out there, because yeah, there's if there are pop figures for movie directors and all of that, then. I'm pretty sure it exists. I've got a keychain version of uh, Reaper. I don't remember where I got this. I think it was from. Yeah, apparently there is one. Like I told you, like they've they've got licensing with basically everything, like everything that can have that pop. You know that the pop figures are able to get a license with, they do. I'm gonna like move these around so we can get a look at them all. Try and see on camera. 
that like May, Zarya. This is the only Reinhardt thing that I have. I honestly really gave a tattoo. That does sound pretty neat. Like the that level of detail. Like this is the only Zarya or the only uh, Reinhardt thing that I have. It's not going to stand up very well on the uh, cloth. But whatever, it's fine. And I remember some time ago they had the Reinhardt with, uh, I think it was it was just like the larger than normal scale pop, kind of like how uh, Arissa is is one of the larger than normal, and uh, Roadhog is a, is one of them that's larger than normal. So I know there was a Reinhardt that's, you know, a little above normal scale. And then we've got Diva comes with Mech and a little Diva. Who I'm pretty sure should fit in the Mech. I just usually don't have her in the Mech. Yeah. As far as I know, I think there's also a, uh, a pop of baby diva just in normal scale size yeah just so much dust and a junk rat one of the things i kind of regret is having not is not being able to find like i didn't really start like i didn't actively try to collect these i just sort of got them as as i found them like it was just like oh hey i might as well just you know treat myself and get another one. Also, I don't know why, but this one just does not want to stand up on its own. It, it isn't even about the microfiber cloth. This one just does not want to stand on its own. Get little McCree. I think I probably got like this one out of a blind box, maybe. We got like Sombra. Like we're running out of room. We're so close. And Senyata. This one, Doomfist, I got not that long ago. I ended up getting it less than a month ago, I think, because it was just like they had it at the comic book shop, and I was just like, you know what? I don't have I don't have that. I don't play a lot of Doomfist, but you know it's it's a nice enough figure. And then from the actual action figure line, it's a Mercy and one pop you would never want to get. I mean, there's chances are there are some that are not great. It's like everything making a mess here. But then you have Farah. Like I, I don't really actively collect them. So I just sort of got them because they're nice and it seemed like a thing to get. But yeah, uh offhand I can't particularly think of anything. I just know there's you know, there's if you're not if you're not actively like if you don't care about whatever the pop culture thing is the, you know that the pop is for then chances are that's the pop that you really don't want like you, that's the pop you really don't need because it's just like yeah if you if if someone sent you know if someone ended up sending me or whoever who didn't care a pop figure for a pop artist that they have no recollection of and they care nothing of it's like that sure is nice that you have a pop figure of fill-in random music star. It's like uh, the who's who's someone who's like a character that you know they would probably make a pop figure of. Uh, the Post Malone, he's goofy looking enough. They could probably make a pop figure out of him. It'd be like it'd be one of those things where it's like we heard you liked pop figures here. Here, have this pop figure. And you go, thanks. That's nice. But 
Anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and call it. I uh, trade me, trade you my Justin Bieber pop one. You know, the thing is, the pops that I have, I have because I want to have them. I can't really see a situation where I'd be like, I really want this Justin Bieber pop. It's like, yeah, no. Like, the pop figures that I have are just ones that I like. So, I don't know how far this cord will go. Because, like, I've got a bunch of weird random stuff. Find the closet here. Like, when I was playing Magic more regularly, they had uh, special trophies for a couple of the competitions where it's basically just a uh, gold color or gold painted uh, Funko Pop of one of the Magic characters. <laughs> but, yeah. I think I've got another one of this in here somewhere. I had a good run of a couple of tournaments. Ah. Yeah. As far as the pop figures go, it's just like only other ones I've got is Cade. And then that ah, can't even see that on screen. Cade and then Ed and Ein from uh, Cowboy Bebop. That didn't work out. Here was let's put Ein on there. But yeah, I I don't actively try to collect them. It's just one of those things where it's just like you know what? I think maybe I would like to have that thing. Like, I know some people, they just have so many of them. And if that's what makes them happy, sure. But, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and call it. It's We had a, we had a good go. We, we built our little uh, Lego wrecking ball. I, I, I keep saying it, but it took way less time than I thought it would. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. Give me time to clean up my room and put these all back up on the shelf so they can go back to collecting more dust. But anyway, tomorrow, I think I have on the schedule I should be playing Overwatch. There's a duck version of Kiryu. I mean, there's... I was out today at uh, Target, and I saw a uh, a version... I, had, I saw a bobblehead pop version of a concept art version of Yoda. Like, it's not even any of the Yoda that you see from any of the other... any of the normal media. It's a concept art version of Yoda. So it looks like I can't even describe it. It just does not it is not it does not look like Yoda. It does not look quite right. Has a duck holding up a bike. Like in a duck costume or with just like a duck beak and stuff. Yeah, let me have a look. Ugh, I've got too many cords. Here you. Here you. Um. I'm not entirely sure what that's about. Kiryu is available in duck form. 
Okay, let me see. I think that's just their gimmick. I I think that might just be their gimmick for where how they manufacture their their figure things. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's just their gimmick. I want to pull this window out. You can see it a little bit on the other screen. Actually, hell, I even have a screen for this, but I don't have a don't have anything including the other uh, the camera. Wrong button. Do do go that one. Let's find it. Camera. Main monitor. Hey, look, it's the chat. Hey, look, it's not there anymore. Oh God, this screen is so much brighter than what was there before. But yeah, it looks like it's just kind of their gimmick that they they do things that look like ducks. But yeah, I, I see what you're talking about, Kiryu Duck. Because... Kiryu Funko Pop. Yeah, it's it's a thing that exists reasonably reasonably well. But yeah. Oh, see, this is a custom. That's a custom job. But still. Oh no, wait, it says that's custom too. So maybe they haven't been able to set up a, a licensing rights for it. It's like, yeah. Don't use a I don't always use a, a rubber duck, but when I do, it's a cure you duck. Oh yeah, see, it's, it's custom, not, not normal. But anyway, what's that? So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I do appreciate folks stopping in tonight. I I know this is a little different and weird from what I normally do, so it's, and it was sort of on short notice, but. I wanted to do this. It was just a fun little endeavor. So yeah, I hope everybody's taking care of themselves with everything going on. Give a small shout out to the folks watching the VOD. I do hope at some point you can catch a live stream. Follow the channel if you want. Join the Discord as well. Good way to keep track of when I do come online. Sub to the channel as well. It helps keep the lights on. And yeah. I hope everybody has a good night. I've been somebody nowhere. You have been amazing. And I do hope to see you next time.